For this question, we want to solve the logarithmic equation. Be sure to reject any value of x that is not in the domain of the original, original logarithmic expression. The logarithmic equation that we're working with is 8 natural log of 2x equals 40. Before we begin solving this equation, I want to explore the methods for solving logarithmic equations that we're familiar with. The two methods that we use are converting to an exponential equation and the one-to-one -one property of logarithms. And sometimes this is referred to as the property of equality. If we look at these two methods, let's take a look at the requirements. The first method requires the logarithm to be isolated on one side of the equation as we have in the symbolic way right here, a log isolated on one side of the equation. If we look at our equation, we do have a log only on one side. However, it's not isolated because of this eight. So we'll most likely be using this first technique to solve the equation. But let's take a look at the second method just to be sure. But the second method, we're required to have a log with the same base on both sides of the equation. We can see that in our equation, we have log only on one side, so we won't be using the second method. So focusing back on the first method, what we're going to do is we're going to convert to an exponential equation using the definition of a logarithm. And then we'll solve the remaining equation by isolating x. But as I said a moment ago, we're required to have our logarithm isolated on one side of the equation. And this 8 does not have our log isolated. So we need to use our properties related to expanding and condensing logarithms to get rid of that 8. And actually we could, since this is multiplication, we can divide both sides by 8 instead of using those properties. So we can write this as natural log of 2x equals 40. Oh, 8, 40 divided by 8 would be 5. So now we have our log isolated on one side of the equation, and now we're going to convert to an exponential. To convert to an exponential, we need to know what base we have on our log. We're using the symbols LN, which stands for natural log. And natural log is having a log with base E, the natural base. So these symbols, LN, are equivalent to log with base E of 2x equals 5. So using the definition of a logarithm, we'll rewrite this as an exponential. The base of the log is the base of the exponent. The log always equals the exponent, so 5 will be the power. And then this expression equals the expression inside the log, which is 2x. Now that we've converted to an exponential equation, we'll solve for the variable x by dividing both sides by 2. So we have x equals e to the fifth over 2. Then we need to make sure we check. We're going to check our solution of e to the fifth over 2 by substituting into the original equation. e is 2.718. That's a positive number raised to the fifth power. That'll be positive. A positive divided by a positive and then multiplied by a positive will be positive. 
So since we're taking the log of a positive, we're going to be able to keep this solution. And the only solution to this equation is e to the fifth over 2. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.